Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of Dragon Prince Yuan season 2 episode number 26 based on novel. So let's start. Several figures of light landed, revealing their appearance. The one leading them was naturally Chiao Xiao. They had evidently heard the news, and were afraid that Zhu Yuan would be in for a hard time. Hence, they had hurried over to lend their aid. Xiao Xiao wore a solemn expression, as powerful Genesis Qi pulsed around him. Things had been going pretty well for him over the past half a month, even gaining the title of one of the ten great outer mountain disciples. Although he was only ranked tenth, the fact that he was able to enter the ranks as a non Xingju continent disciple was enough to show his ability. Zhu Feng frowned when he saw Xiao Xiao, a trace of wariness in his eyes. Xiao Xiao was after all tenth amongst the ten great outer mountain disciples, an individual that was indeed more powerful than himself. Even so, there was no fear on Zhu Feng's face as he indifferently said, Xiao Xiao, this matter does not concern you. It will be best if you do not interfere. Xiao Xiao responded in a low voice, Zhu Feng, you are the one who should not be too overbearing. Junior brother Zhu Yuan is not someone who actively stirs up trouble. Why must you provoke him? Mockery rose from the corners of Zhu Feng's mouth. We weren't the ones provoking him, he was the one who just declared that he will take us all on alone. The others laughed loudly in accompaniment. Xiao Xiao's expression sunk slightly. If you insist on making things difficult, don't blame me later on. Zhu Feng's eyes hardened as he said, Xiao Xiao, don't think for a second that I am afraid of you. I only said so much earlier to give you some face. There should be some amongst you that are learning the ethereal form technique from my elder brother, right? The threat in his final few words was already clear as day. Xiao Xiao's expression changed a little, evidently not expecting Zhu Feng to so shamelessly use that to threaten him. However, he was no coward. Since he had already decided to reveal himself, he would not be so easily frightened off by Zhu Feng. Without further ado, Genesis Qi began to stir as his piercing gaze looked towards Zhu Feng. Zhu Feng likewise did not expect Chiao Xiao to be so stubborn, causing his expression to turn somewhat ugly. He he, Chiao Xiao, it seems that you're pretty fond of sticking your doggy paws into other people's business. Since you're so free, why not exchange a move or two with me? Just as Zhu Feng's expression turned ugly, a bout of laughter suddenly sounded as a figure of light flew over and landed nearby. It was a thin man, who looked rather monkey-like with a pair of deep-set eyes. However, the Genesis Qi undulations from his body were in no way weaker than Xiao Xiu's. Shen Wanjin could not help, but softly gasp at the sight of this person, its son Jing Lei. Zhu Yuan's eyes narrowed slightly. He had heard this name before. It was said that he was ranked ninth amongst the ten great outer mountain disciples, one position higher than Xiao Xiu. It seems that Zhu Feng had predicted Xiao Xiu's interference, and invited this expert over to help. The expression in Xiao Xiu's eyes sunk, when he saw the monkey-like young man, as he sighed inside. It seems that Zhu Feng was not going to let this matter go with words alone. Zhu Yuan looked over at this moment, and smiled at Xiao Xiu. Senior brother Xiao Xiu, I can handle things here. Zhu Yuan was already a little touched that Xiao Xiu had come to his aid so many times. Xiao Xiu let out a bitter laugh. Be careful junior brother Zhu Yuan. Although he was very optimistic about Zhu Yuan's future, the latter was currently only at the first layer alpha origin stage. In contrast, Zhu Feng was already a veteran of the third layer alpha origin. In a clash between them, Zhu Yuan would likely be much worse off. Zhu Yuan smiled in a carefree manner, before lifting his head to look towards Zhu Feng. I'll ask you one last time, are you certain all of you aren't coming together? Zhu Feng's expression darkened as he sneered. Still talking so big, looks like I'll have to teach that mouth of yours a lesson. Rumble. Without the slightest shred of hesitation, Genesis Qi violently erupted as his expression turned serious. He immediately took the initiative, his body akin to flash of lightning as he bolted towards Zhu Yuan. A palm was swung horizontally, creating several palm shadows that homed in on Zhu Yuan's fatal spots in a flash. Zhu Feng's attack was extremely vicious, showing no mercy at all. Xiao Xiao, Shen Wanjin and the rest watched with anxious eyes. They had realized that Zhu Yuan was not moving, as if he had no intention of avoiding. You dare to display such carelessness before me, do you think that I'm Han Shan? Zhu Feng let out an eerie laugh, under the impression that Zhu Yuan was just being foolish. 
However, the former did not restrain his power, but instead poured even more ferocity into his attack. In the end, several palm shadows landed on Zhu Yuan's body. Muffled thuds continued to sound one after another as the aftershocks wreaked havoc in the surroundings, tearing up the ground around Zhu Yuan. Every gaze on the mountain was tightly fixed on the fight. Zhu Yuan is really too arrogant. To think that he did not even try to avoid senior brother Zhu Feng's attack. Does he think he's unbreakable? The group that had come here with Zhu Feng laughed mockingly. The dust gradually settled. In the next instant, the mocking smiles that hung from the corners of their mouths slowly turned rigid. Zhu Yuan was still standing there, his figure unmoved from the spot. His expression was one of indifference, and not a single wound could be seen on his body, as the earlier attack had zero effect on him. How can this be? Astonished cry after cry rang out. Impossible. Zhu Feng's pupils violently tightened. He had held nothing back earlier, and every attack had indeed solidly landed on Zhu Yuan's body. But why? Why had every attack seemed to sink into his body, as if it was a stone being thrown into the vast sea, giving no feedback at all? Zhu Yuan's expression did not change, merely frowning slightly as gazed at Zhu Feng and dully asked, You haven't eaten. Zhu Feng's expression filled with embarrassment and anger. With a loud yell, Genesis Qi frantically converged towards his palm as his five fingers tightly clenched. A punch was sent forth, the punch winds rumbling like thunder. A punch that had enough power to turn a boulder to dust slammed into Zhu Yuan's chest. Under Zhu Yuan's clothes, his chest area had turned incorporeal, while purplish gold magical python scales had emerged. The purplish gold magical python scales possessed strong defensive capabilities. Now that there was also the ethereal form technique neutralizing a portion of the power, Zhu Feng's full power punch was unable to pierce Zhu Yuan's defenses. Therefore, Zhu Yuan's body merely swayed back a little. He stared at Zhu Feng and remarked, Looks like you really have not eaten. Yu power is really weak. The others were stupefied by this sight. His defense is so strong. Even the pupils of Chiao Xiao and Sun Jing Lei shrank a little. If they were they ones in his place, it would be impossible for them to come out unscathed after taking a direct hit from Zhu Feng's full power punch with their bodies. Zhu Feng was shocked and horrified. As he blankly stared at Zhu Yuan's body, he suddenly discovered that the latter's chest area had turned rather incorporeal and was abruptly struck by a flash of understanding. A piercing voice filled with both terror and astonishment immediately rang out. You've you've mastered the first level of the ethereal form technique. Zhu Feng's horrified voice caused disbelief to fill the faces of everyone else present with the exception of Ji Yu Hongyi, making them dumbstruck as they stared at Zhu Yuan. How is this possible? It's only been a few days. How can he possibly have mastered the first level of the ethereal form technique? But etherealization of the body is clearly only achievable by someone who has mastered the first level. This is the only way to explain how he was able to receive Zhu Feng's attacks with his body. Xiao Xiao and Shen Wanjin were stunned as they looked to each other. The ethereal form technique was one of the more popular Genesis techniques in the outer mountains and had been selected by many disciples. This was because of how amazing it was. Once mastered, it would substantially boost one's overall survivability. But Xiao Xiao and Shen Wanjin also knew that although many people were learning it, only a handful were able to reach the first level. Mastering the first level in a span of less than 10 days was practically unheard of. In addition, they knew that Zhu Yuan had not received any guidance during this process, everything had been achieved with his own ability. Could it be? Ji Yu Hongyi was only able to progress so rapidly in the ethereal form technique because she chose to learn under Zhu Yuan. Xiao Xiao and Shen Wanjin's mouths subconsciously hung slightly open. Truth be told, they had felt Ji Yu Hongyi's choice of Zhu Yuan over Zhu Yu was way too weird. If they were not well acquainted with Zhu Yuan and knew that Ji Yu Hongyi was not some easily love struck girl, they would have likely believed that there was something going on between the two. White and green interlaced on Zhu Feng's face, some horror still lingering in his eyes. Never in his wildest dreams would he have imagined Zhu Yuan had actually mastered the first level of the ethereal form technique. While Zhu Feng was still lost in shock, Zhu Yuan lightly tapped his chest under everyone's gazes and said in a calm voice, I told you earlier that all of you should come at me together, and yet you kept insisting on taking me on alone, since that is so. By the time Zhu Yuan's voice faded, his body had already moved. Half of his body seemed to turn incorporeal as he took a step forward. 
faint mist appeared around him as his figure swiftly shot forward like the wind. Such speed. Zhu Feng's heart shivered. Zhu Yuan was so quick that even he was beginning to see faint after images. In the face of the current Zhu Yuan, Zhu Feng no longer displayed any of the arrogance from before. His feet rapidly moved as his figure hastily retreated in a rather miserable manner. However, his speed was far from being able to match Zhu Yuan's. Zhu Yuan merely took a single step forward and appeared in front of Zhu Feng like a phantom. No matter how Zhu Feng tried to evade, Zhu Yuan's figure closely followed like a shadow. This speed. Xiao Xiao and Sun Jinglei's expressions changed slightly when they saw this. Get lost. Zhu Feng was scared stiff by Zhu Yuan's phantom-like speed. The humiliation and anger in the former's heart reached its peak, and with a howl, the Cirque Genesis Qi unfurled from his body, dashing in all directions. However, Zhu Yuan's figure merely flickered a few times, breaking through the wave of Genesis Qi as purplish gold scales appeared on his hand. A palm strike was swiftly sent forth, instantly piercing Zhu Feng's defenses and landing on his chest. Genesis Qi exploded and Zhu Feng's body was sent catapulting backwards, as if he had been struck by a heavy blow. However, mere moments after his figure was sent flying, Zhu Yuan's somewhat ethereal figure appeared below the former as a kick lashed out along with Genesis Qi. A whip-like leg ripped through the air, kicking Zhu Feng in the stomach, as he let out a miserably cry, and was sent flying once again. The crowd's eyelids twitched as they watched Zhu Feng's body being bounced around in mid-air, unable to land. It was an exceedingly wretched sight. The mountain was blanketed in silence, everyone speechless as they watched Zhu Yuan effortlessly kick Zhu Feng around like a ball, a sight that caused them to shiver involuntarily. Especially the disciples that had come with Zhu Feng. They had originally believed Zhu Yuan would be easily crushed, allowing him to understand his place. But who could have expected that the three-layer alpha origin Zhu Feng would be unable to even touch Zhu Yuan's shadow and would end up being hit around like a ball? What are you guys still standing around for? Go get him together. In the air, Zhu Feng, who had been beaten about till he was now somewhat dizzy, lost his composure and howled. These disciples looked to each other. In the end, they ignored the fact that they were going to gang up on Zhu Yuan and forced themselves forward, surrounding him from all directions. I already told you guys to come at me together earlier, but you guys just had to insist on wasting time. Zhu Yuan chuckled softly when he saw them approach as the mist around him thickened, causing his speed to soar once again. He was akin to the shadow of a phantom as he charged into the midst of the dozen or so disciples. The battle was a completely chaotic mess. Although these disciples were pretty strong, they were unable to even touch the edges of Zhu Yuan's clothes. In contrast, whenever Zhu Yuan's figure dashed past, a fist covered in purplish gold scales along with robust Genesis Qi would slam into their bodies without any trace of politeness. Each punch molded itself into the flesh, painting an exceptionally violent picture. In a short few minutes, the ground was littered with bodies, each one with a bloody nose and swollen face, traces of blood at the corner of their mouths as they groaned in pain. At the middle, Zhu Yuan stood with his hands by his side as his partially incorporeal gradually returned to normal. His expression was still indifferent, unchanged even through the entire ordeal. He looked towards the ground in front of him where Zhu Feng was staggering to his feet. The latter had received the most of Zhu Yuan's care, making him look the most pitiful of the bunch. Zhu Feng trembled uncontrollably as he gazed upon Zhu Yuan, a trace of terror in his eyes. He truly never imagined that they would still lose in such a miserable manner even after the dozen or so of them ganged up on Zhu Yuan. Now that Zhu Yuan had mastered the first level of the ethereal form technique, he was not only untouchably quick, but his defense was also extremely terrifying, allowing him to practically ignore their attacks. One must know that there were two other first-class disciples amongst the group that had the strength of the third-layer alpha origin. But even so, they had been easily dealt with by Zhu Yuan. How crazy was this? Even the outer mountain top, ten disciples, such as Chao Xiao and Sun Jing Lei, did not dare to claim they would be able to so effortlessly deal with several first class disciples without taking any damage. After today, junior brother Zhu Yuan will definitely have a spot as one of the ten great outer mountain disciples. Chao Xiao could not help but sigh. Zhu Yuan had previously been way too low profile. Although he had obtained victory over Han Shan, it had only made others feel that he was at least worthy of being a first-class disciple, though many believed that he was one of the lowest ranking amongst them. After today's battle, there was likely no one would continue to say so. 
This battle was enough for his name to shake the outer mountains. Sun Jinglei's expression had turned rather grave, wariness now present in his eyes as he stared at Zhu Yuan. The former had not taken the latter very seriously earlier, which led to his prompt agreement when Zhu Feng had asked him for support. But now, he was feeling a slight bit of regret. Zhu Yuan was clearly not as simple as he looked, and Sun Jinglei had now offended him for no real reason. Loud and clear clapping sounded from behind. One would find Ji Yu Hongi grinning as she watched this scene, an additional trace of admiration in her eyes when she looked at Ju Yuan. The way Ju Yuan had beaten them all up alone was clearly very much to her liking. Ju Yuan chuckled, growing increasingly satisfied with the ethereal form technique. Although he would not fear the other party if he had not learnt the technique, he would not have had such an easy time. The ethereal form technique allowed him to etherealize his physical body, greatly increasing his speed and thus making his movements extremely agile and nimble. When the defensive capabilities of the magical python scales was added, the strength of three-layer alpha origin was basically unable to break his defenses. He raised his head, his eyes uncaring as he glanced at the miserable figures of Zhu Feng and Gang. Although your elder brother Zhu Yu is an inner mountain disciple, he is very narrow-minded and petty. It was only a small dispute, and yet he tried to stop all the other inner mountain disciples from teaching me. If he did not possess the decoder Saint Rune, he may have really been in some trouble. After all, the effectiveness would definitely be lower without anyone's guidance. Though Zhu Feng did not dare to retort, when he heard Zhu Yuan criticizing Zhu Yu, the former Coldy snorted inside. His elder brother was an inner mountain disciple after all, an existence that Zhu Yuan would not dare to clash against directly even if he had mastered the first level of the ethereal form technique. Zhu Yuan, we admit defeat this time, but don't be too happy yet. You won't have a good time after offending my elder brother. Said Zhu Feng through gnashed teeth. Zhu Yuan merely smiled faintly. I believe I should be the one saying these words. Although Zhu Feng was in a pretty bad state, mockery still surfaced in his eyes as he sneered. Oh? What can you even do to my elder brother? Although Zhu Yuan had mastered the first level of the ethereal form technique, he would still amount to nothing much in Zhu Yu's eyes. The latter was after all an inner mountain disciple. Zhu Yuan seemed to smile. Upon seeing his expression, Zhu Feng suddenly a sliver of unease, but he could not figure out what Zhu Yuan was planning. Zhu Yuan's gaze looked towards the other disciples that had followed Zhu Feng here. They were basically the disciples that were learning the ethereal form technique from Zhu Yu. From today, I will begin teaching the ethereal form technique. As for my effectiveness, you can look to Zhu Yu Hongyi as an example. I guarantee that everyone under my tutelage will reach the first level of the technique in a month. As for the price, Zhu Feng charges 5 Genesis Jade pieces a day, so mine will be a little cheaper, let's say 3 Genesis Jade pieces a day. If any of you are interested, you can transfer over any time. The mountain was deathly silent, even Xiao Xiao and Sun Jing Lei were dumbstruck as they blankly stared at Zhu Yuan. No one had expected that Zhu Yuan was planning on brazenly recruiting disciples and teach them the ethereal form technique. Zhu Feng also blankly stared at Zhu Yuan as his scalp suddenly numbed. He had realized that if Zhu Yuan really did as he had said, Zhu Feng's elder brother, Zhu Yu, was going to have a pretty hard time in the subsequent days. After all, even Zhu Yu did not dare to guarantee helping someone else master the first level of the ethereal form technique in a month. Zhu Yuan's declaration was basically going to cut off Zhu Feng's income. This counterattack could be said to be merciless to the extreme. Everyone foolishly stared at Zhu Yuan after listening to his words. The shock factor of these words were clearly even greater than his feat of beating down the entire group alone. None of them had ever heard of someone giving guidance to other disciples while he was still an outer mountain disciple. Moreover, None of the inner mountain disciples had ever dared to claim they could help the disciples under their tutelage reach the first level of the ethereal form technique in a month. Even Zhu Yu did not have the ability. Hence, Zhu Yuan's words somewhat tempted even Xiao Xiao. He may not have chosen to learn the ethereal form technique, but if Zhu Yuan was truly able to help him reach the first level in a month, he did not mind starting from scratch. After all, they understood how difficult it was to learn a little heaven genesis technique. The amount of time and effort required was tremendous, and reaching initial mastery in a month was already amazingly fast. Zhu Feng's complexion paled, cold sweat appearing on his forehead as horror filled his eyes. He never imagined that Zhu Yuan would. Zhu Yuan grinned. 
Is there a rule that says an outer mountain disciple can't give guidance to others? Zhu Feng froze, the expression on his face fluctuating indeterminately, as he looked towards the individuals around him. These people had been learning the ethereal form technique from his elder brother, but their gazes were now flickering slightly in thought, evidently tempted by Zhu Yuan's words. It was clear to them after all. If they continued with Zhu Yu, the cost was not only higher, but they may not even reach the first level of the ethereal form technique in a month. In comparison, Zhu Yuan's quality to price ratio was undoubtedly better. Zhu Feng began to panic as he hurriedly said, don't be bewitched by him. Even if he can reach the first level of the ethereal form technique, it does not mean that he will be able to help others do the same in a month. Ji Yu Hongyi is super talented, how can you guys compare to her? He was aware that coming to the outer mountains to teach was a nice cushy job that his elder brother had gone through much difficulty to acquire. It was after all a job where Genesis Jade could be earned more easily. If Ju Yuan were to suddenly stick his hand into this pie, Ju Yu would end up being akin to someone who uses a wicker basket to collect water. Zhu Feng's words made the other disciple hesitate somewhat. After all, when Zhu Yuan and Zhu Yu were compared, the latter's inner mountain disciple status was more trustworthy. Zhu Feng did not dare to linger any longer, afraid that they would be enticed away. He frostily looked towards Zhu Yuan and said, Zhu Yuan, one should always leave a way out. If you really intend to teach the ethereal form technique, my elder brother will not take this lying down. His words and tone implied both a threat and a warning. However, Zhu Yuan's expression did not change as he smiled faintly and replied, Did you guys leave me a way out when you collaborated with the other instructors to stop me from learning Genesis techniques? If he did not have a few tricks up his sleeve, he would have likely been hard-pressed due to Zhu Yu's actions. Any ordinary person would have had his future ruined by the latter. After all, the competition in that Sangshuan sect was just too intense, being delayed a single step would oftentimes lead to one being unable to surpass another again. Zhu Feng icily said, Humph, you stubborn fool, just wait for the fury of my elder brother to descend. Go. With a wave of his sleeve, he took the lead and left, though his figure appeared a little pathetic. The other disciples hesitated for a moment. In the end, they still chose to follow. Zhu Yuan did not feel their departure was the least bit unfortunate. He he, little Yuan bro, are you really planning on the teaching the other disciples the ethereal form technique? From what I know, there are at least a hundred people amongst the outer mountain disciples that are practicing it. If all of them came here to learn from you, you will receive an income of several hundred Genesis Jade pieces per day. Shen Wanjin's eyes were practically glowing, saliva nearly dripping from his mouth. After doing the calculations, he had realized that Zhu Yuan could become the richest amongst the outer mountain disciples in a month. Zhu Yuan's heart involuntarily beat a little faster when he heard this. The truth was, he had only said so earlier to take revenge on Zhu Yu, but now that he gave some thought to it, he realized that it was practically the best way to rake in huge amounts of Genesis Jade. In comparison, going to the task pavilion every day to take on some missions now seemed akin to tough, meaningless labor. Zhu Yuan's gaze stealthily lit up with excitement and desire. As long as a third of those practicing the ethereal form technique came to him, his coffers would be overflowing with money. With such wealth, he would finally be able to rent out the Nine Dragons Cannon, and maybe acquire some of the treasures he had taken a fancy to in the Glittering Jewels Pavilion. You seem to know quite a lot. Zhu Yuan looked towards Shen Wanjin with a wide smile. Are you interested in helping me with this venture? Shen Wanjin patted his chest, a dazzling light in his eyes as he responded, You found the right man for the job little Yuan bro. Such matters are my forte. I will first help you spread news of this especially to the disciples that are learning the ethereal form technique. I'm sure many disciples will be tempted by your guarantee of reaching the first level in a month. If we add an information about you having already achieved this feat, together with a famous person like Ji Yu Hongyi's endorsement, the worries and reservations of the other disciples should gradually be dispelled. As long as we take it one step at a time, I dare say that not even a single figure will be seen at Zhu Yu's place in the end. Zhu Yuan began to chuckle as he listened. Shen Wanjin's aid would indeed save him a lot of trouble. Xiao Xiao's eyes burned with desire as he looked towards Zhu Yuan and asked, Junior brother Zhu Yuan, can you really allow other disciples to reach the first level of the ethereal form technique in a month? Zhu Yuan pondered a little, before he replied, It should not be much of an issue if I have a month, but I can only guarantee the first level. The subsequent levels are another matter. 
the later apertures would only grow more and more difficult to sense. Hence, Zhu Yuan did not intend to waste all of his effort helping others find their apertures. If he did, where would he find the time for his own cultivation? Xiao Xiao sighed in admiration. Soon after, he smiled and said, then I'll also be renting out the ethereal form technique when I return. As one of the most popular choices amongst the Outer Mountain Disciples, Xiao Xiao naturally knew how formidable the ethereal form technique was. He had only given up on it for the time being because he also understood how troublesome it was to find the apertures. Zhu Yuan chuckled and said, you guys can learn free of charge. Xiao Xiao was a pretty decent person, and Zhu Yuan had a very favorable impression of him. Hence, the latter naturally did not mind lending a hand to the former. Xiao Xiao did not argue upon hearing this, merely grinning as he said, then I'll have to give my thanks. Learning a genesis technique was very costly, so he did not want to end up paying more than he should because of pride. He intended to save every bit he could. Xiao Xiao remarked, when news of this spreads, I'm afraid junior brother Zhu Yuan will become the most famous person amongst the Outer Mountain Disciples. It was true. After all, such a thing had never happened before. Besides this, junior brother Zhu Yuan needs to be a little more careful with regards to Zhu Yu. This venture of yours can be said to have threatened his livelihood. I'm afraid he will not silently let this matter rest. When all was said and done, Zhu Yu was still an inner mountain disciple, possessing status and strength beyond outer mountain disciples like them. Zhu Yuan chuckled and nodded. He was not overly worried about Zhu Yu. If that fellow really lost his rationality and directly struck at Zhu Yuan, he would not have any reservations locking Zhu Yu in with Tuntun. Xiao Xiao and Shen Wanjin worked out a few other details before leaving. Excitement colored their eyes when they left, clearly already able to imagine how huge this would be once news of Zhu Yuan giving guidance on the ethereal form technique spread in the outer mountains. As Ji Yu Hongyi watched them leave, she lifted her head and smiled superficially at Zhu Yuan, your ambition is not small, I wonder how much Genesis Jade you will earn when you succeed. No one asked them to keep targeting me as if they had nothing better to do. Zhu Yuan shrugged. If not for Zhu Yu's overbearingness, the former would not be so ruthless. You're only teaching the first level of the ethereal form technique. Ji Yu Hongyi suddenly changed the topic. Zhu Yuan smiled and answered, the later part is too difficult, and I won't be of much help. You'll have to rely on yourself. Ji Yu Hongyi pouted slightly. I somehow feel that it's not that you can't, but that you don't want to, right? Zhu Yuan raised his eyebrows. The intuition of a woman was terrifyingly sharp. The smile on Ji Yu Hongyi's lips grew even wider when she saw Ji Yuan's lack of a response as she said in a low voice, It seems that you've acknowledged it with your silence. Teach me till the second level then. Ji Yuan shook his head. Rejected. The second level required much more effort than the first and clearly could not be compared. Ji Yu Hongyi's face seemed to become more charming after Ji Yuan's clean rejection. She sauntered up to him, breathing a little heavier than normal as she seductively blew at his ear. Zhu Yuan, my family's old ancestor, is the master of the Tsangshuan sect Hongya Peak. What do you think will happen if I tell him that you bullied me? The smile that hung from the corners of Zhu Yuan's mouth turned slightly rigid. He did not expect Zhu Yu Hongyi's backer to be one of the seven peak masters of the Tsangshuan sect. Wasn't that way too much? That's a little unreasonable, right? Zhu Yuan forced a smile. Ji Yu Hongyi blinked innocently as she said in a sweet voice, reasoning with a girl. Are you stupid? Ji Yuan said, may I ask what kind of compensation I will get? Ji Yu Hongyi cocked her head in thought for a moment, before she smiled charmingly and answered, you'll get a more favorable opinion from Ji Yu Hongyi. Ji Yuan. Although he nearly vomited a mouthful of blood, he managed to grit his teeth in the end and bitterly spat out, you win. The events that had occurred by the creek in the mountain spread, as if it had wings, stirring up the entire outer mountains into a frenzy. First of all, everyone was amazed and astonished by the strength Zhu Yuan had displayed. A single individual mowing down Zhu Feng and other first-class disciples. How strong did one needed to be to achieve such a feat? One must know that Zhu Yuan was currently still at the first layer alpha origin. The previous ten great outer mountain disciples had not even taken Zhu Yuan into consideration. After all, Many felt that although he had overwhelmed Han Shan, it had only proven that he was qualified to be a first-class disciple. On the other hand, 
these ten great outer mountain disciples were supposed to be the finest even amongst all the first-class disciples, so Zhu Yuan clearly did not have the qualifications to enter their ranks. However, no one had expected someone who supposedly did not have the qualifications to turn out to be such a fierce individual. Taking on an entire group alone that even included three first-class disciples, and achieving an almost effortless victory. This was something that only a few of the current ten great outer mountain disciples could accomplish. Hence, the strength displayed by Zhu Yuan once again made the all of the outer mountain disciples exclaim in admiration. However, these feelings only lasted for a moment before being completely swept away by another piece of news. What else could it be but Zhu Yuan's offer to teach disciples the ethereal form technique? News of this immediately caused even bigger waves in the outer mountains. Every disciple was dumbstruck upon hearing it, because it was something that had never been done before. How could an outer mountain disciple have the qualifications to teach other outer mountain disciples? What a joke, he's an outer mountain disciple, just like us and yet he dares to claim he can teach the ethereal form technique. This is too laughable. But I've heard that Zhu Yuan's ethereal form technique has already reached the first level. That's why Zhu Feng and Gang were defeated without even touching his clothes once. That can't be, right? How long has it been since he started learning the ethereal form technique? In fact, I personally witnessed him renting it out just recently. Even Ji Yu Hongyi is learning from him. I heard that she unblocked over 20 apertures in a short few days. Could he really be so capable? TCH, Ji Yu Hongyi is super talented, so it's not surprising for her to master it so quickly. Zhu Yuan is most likely boasting by taking credit for her success. I feel that we have to carefully consider this matter. Zhu Yuan may be trying to scam Genesis Jade. Similar opinions could be heard in every corner of the Outer Mountains, many debating whether Zhu Yuan had the qualifications to teach other disciples the ethereal form technique. However, the majority were skeptical. After all, none of them were willing to believe that another Outer Mountain disciple would so greatly surpass them because it would only make them feel ashamed of their inferiority. Hidden Scripture's house, Rear Mountain. The atmosphere in Zhu Yu's lecture hall was somewhat oppressive. Numerous disciples were secretly whispering, evidently affected by the news. After all, the claims Zhu Yuan had made were rather shocking. The doors to the lecture hall were pushed open as an indifferent-looking Zhu Yu walked in, causing every whisper to instantly vanish. Zhu Yu nonchalantly said, I know that all of you have heard the news. If anyone wants to go over, feel free to leave. None of the disciples present dared to make any noise. Zhu Yu was after all an inner mountain disciple, and it would not be good to offend him. Zhu Yu's expression finally softened a little when he saw this. Zhu Yuan does have his way with words, but he should be careful of eating more than his fill. Even if he was able to reach the first level of the ethereal form technique in a month, it does not mean that he can help anyone else do so but junior sister Hongyi is said to have already unblocked over 20 apertures. Said someone in a low voice. Ridicule rose from the corners of Zhu Yu's mouth. Ji Yu Hongyi has astonishing talent, and the old ancestor of her family is the master of the Hongya peak. He will have naturally given her some amazing treasures to aid her in mastering the ethereal form technique. In fact, I'm of the opinion that Zhu Yuan may have been so fast, because he managed to bask some of Ji Yu Hongyi's light. He is an exceptionally devious, cunning and scheming person, as shown by how he approached Ji Yu Hongyi and somehow gained her favor. However, he is far too arrogant. I'm looking forward to see how he will wrap this matter up after making such bold claims. Ji Yu's tone grew increasingly disdainful as he spoke. In the lecture hall, the disciples nodded inside as they listened, feeling that his words were not without logic. After all, they would rather believe Zhu Yuan had benefited from Ji Yu Hongyi rather than succeeding through his own capabilities. Zhu Yu's explanation eased the expressions of the disciples present as they began to make fun of Zhu Yuan. The sight of this made Zhu Yu chuckle softly, as he began to speak once again, Zhu Yuan really silly and arrogant to have made such claims. It would be fine if he can truly fulfill his promises, but if he can't, I will have no choice but to report this to the law enforcement hall. When that happens, Zhu Yuan will likely be kicked out of the outer mountains. Everyone's heart shivered as they secretly sighed in pity for Zhu Yuan. It could be said that he was going to bring about his own downfall this time. From Zhu Yu's tone, he clearly held a deep grudge against Zhu Yuan and would not let this matter rest. It was still the same creek in the mountain. However, 
the usually tranquil mountain creek had now become the most popular location in the outer mountains. Black masses of people stood on both sides of the creek, their gazes filled with interest as they gazed down at the creek below where Zhu Yuan was standing on a rock, his expression cool and collected. Shen Wanjin said from Zhu Yuan's side, Little Yuan bro, we've already spread the news, but very few people believe us. Especially those Xingju disciples, all they do is mock. Zhu Yuan nodded, unsurprised by this information. The Xingju disciples were extremely arrogant after all, and looked down upon the disciples from the other continents. They would naturally be unwilling to believe Kangmang disciple like him would be able to do something that was impossible for them. As the saying went, every beginning is always difficult, so Zhu Yuan was mentally prepared for this. He lifted his head and shot a glance at both sides of the creek. These people were here for entertainment, not to learn the ethereal form technique. Little Yuan bro, Zhu Yu has made known that if you do not fulfill your promises, he will report this matter to the law enforcement hall and get you convicted. Shen Wanjin was pretty worried. Let him do what he wants. Zhu Yuan nodded, showing no concern for this issue. Ha ha, junior brother Zhu Yuan, we've come to cheer you on. Laughter was heard at this moment as Xiao Xiu led a dozen figures to towards the creek. Included in the group behind him was Xiao Tianxian and several other Kangmang disciples. They obviously knew that the starting would be the most awkward for Zhu Yuan, and had come here to make up the numbers. However, with the exception of Xiao Xiu, most of the group were still rather doubtful. They only did not openly show it. They had agreed to follow mostly on account of Xiao Xiu. Laughter began to spread from both sides of the creek, evidently of the opinion that it was pretty embarrassing for Zhu Yuan to resort to such measures. Senior brother Xiao Xiu, is this really going to work? I feel like we're clowns. Beside Xiao Xiu stood a pretty girl in a long dark blue skirt. She was called Zhu Yu, and was also a pretty prideful first-class disciple. At this current moment, she was feeling a little uncomfortable under the many mocking gazes in the vicinity. Hence her earlier grumbling. Evidently, she too did not believe that Zhu Yuan was able to teach the ethereal form technique. Xiao Xiu smiled awkwardly when he heard this, somewhat uncertain as he answered, it should work out. Zhu Yu unhappily rolled her eyes. Senior brother Xiao Xiu, you're too good-hearted. Senior sister Zhu Yu, brother Yuan, would only make such a claim, because he is confident. Said a girl called Shureishi in a soft voice. As someone who was also from the Kangman continent, she would naturally side with Zhu Yuan. I hope so, or he will not be able to deal with the consequences. Zhu Yu crossed her arms, declining to express any further opinions. While they were chatting, Zhu Yuan looked over. He knew that everyone would be doubtful, but he did not intend to convince them with words. Everything would be shown through facts. With so many people watching, he would make good use of this chance to show them the truth. Let's begin. Every gaze in the vicinity of the mountain creek converged towards him when they heard him speak. Most of these gazes, however, were filled with doubt and ridicule. In the vicinity of the mountain creek, Ji Yu Hongyi was gracefully standing nearby, her pretty eyes gazing towards the creek. Tell me the truth, Hongyi. Was he able to master the first level of the ethereal form technique so quickly, because he got some kind of amazing treasure from your old ancestor? At Ji Yu Hongyi's side was a young lady in pink clothes. She was rather pretty, her beauty enhanced by her limpid eyes. Her greatest assets however were the proud, astonishing curves on her chest that were tightly wrapped by her clothes, causing many of the surrounding male disciples to involuntarily cast a peek, as they swallowed uncomfortably. This girl was called Han Xiu Shui, and was also a first-class disciple from the Xingju continent. She was rather well known in the outer mountains, though not as famous as Ji Yu Hongyi. She was also acquainted with Ji Yu Hongyi, hence why she had taken the chance to secretly ask her earlier question. You believe such rumors? Ji Yu Hongyi frowned as she glanced at the former. Han Xiu Shui chuckled. I feel that these so-called rumors are a little more believable than the alternative. Her eyes swept across Zhu Yuan's figure. Though there was no contempt in her gaze, it still contained a little of the pride all Xingju disciples had. Evidently, she too did not believe that a kid from some remote continent would be able to achieve something they Xingju disciples could not. Ji Yu Hongyi shook her head, not bothering to explain anything, and merely said, just watch and see. Han Chiu Shui was rather surprised by the deep trust Ji Yu Hongyi had in Zhu Yuan, especially because she clearly knew how proud and distant the latter was. Ordinary disciples were unable to even catch her eye, 
and even Lu Feng's repeated attempts to get close were only met by cold responses. Hence, Han Xiaoshui was unable to wrap her head around why a blessed daughter of the heavens like Ji Yu Hongyi would have so much faith in a kid from another continent. Han Xiaoshui timidly said, Hongyi, you seem to have become quite close to Zhu Yuan recently. I've heard that Lu Feng is feeling very uncomfortable due to this. Ji Yu Hongyi frowned slightly. Is any of this Lu Feng's business? Han Xiaoshui replied, Do you still not understand his intentions? Ji Yu Hongyi cast a sideways glance at the former. He asked you to speak for him. Han Xiaoshui smiled awkwardly. Ji Yu Hongyi icily said, You can tell him that it will be in his best interests not to interfere. Or else, don't blame me for falling out with him. Han Xiaoshui helplessly said, I'm only a messenger, don't flare up at me. Ji Yu Hongyi coldly snorted, choosing not to speak anymore as she looked towards the creek again. Han Xiaoshui swallowed and also turned towards the creek as she unhappily said, All right. I'm interested to see for myself just how capable this huge braggart is, that even our proud big Missy Hongi has acknowledged him. But I also hope that he isn't just full of hot air, or it will not be easy to wrap up this matter today. Let's begin. The moment Ju Yuan's words sounded, countless amused gazes on both sides of the creek looked down towards him, as if waiting to watch an entertaining show. Xiao Xiao, Xiao Tianxian and the rest exchanged a look, before seating themselves beside the creek. Junior brother Zhu Yuan, what do we do next? Asked Xiao Xiao. Although he appeared relaxed, a sliver of anxiousness was visible in his eyes. After all, if Zhu Yuan failed today, the consequences would be very dire indeed. Just the mocking laughter of the numerous disciples present would likely drown him. What's more, Zhu Yu had already declared that he would report Zhu Yuan to the law enforcement hall if he were to fail. This would likely result in Zhu Yuan being kicked out of the outer mountains, an extremely terrible price to pay. Zhu Yuan casually said from the rock he was seated on, everyone should begin circulating the ethereal form technique. Everyone closed their eyes upon hearing this, and began to circulate the ethereal form technique. Under the attention of countless gazes, Zhu Yuan pulled out the heavenly Yuan brush at his waist. It began to grow as his hand grasped around it, the snow-white hairs at its tip shooting out, turning into a dozen strings that wrapped around the wrists of Chiao Xiao and the rest. I will send my senses into your bodies through the brush hairs. When the time comes, you guys only need to release your control over your Genesis Qi and allow me to direct it. Zhu Yuan's voice was transmitted into everyone's ears. After hearing these words, Zhu Yu could not help but blurt out in a low voice, Can he really do it? What if he doesn't know what he's doing and ends up causing our Genesis Qi to lose control which may in turn damage our channels? Xiao Xiao hesitated for a moment. In the end, he gritted his teeth and said, Relax everyone, junior brother Zhu Yuan is not a reckless person. He understands the gravity of the situation. Xiao Xiao was a reputable individual, so everyone else could only nod after hearing his words. No one else said anything as they began to direct the Genesis Qi in their bodies, following the route indicated by the ethereal form technique. As such, the area around the creek grew silent. Every gaze on both sides of the creek unblinkingly watched this scene. By the creek, the only sound to be heard was the gurgling of flowing water. This video will end here.